guys, it's Alexis. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you guys an updated Everyday Makeup Products 2016 and I just wanted to update you guys on the makeup products I have been using recently and they have changed a lot since my last Everyday Makeup Products because I've been wanting to try out a lot of different makeup products and I've been testing them out and I just wanted to switch it up a little bit to see what I really like. And before we get started, a disclaimer, I just want to say I'm sorry I have not been uploading a lot. I have been so busy in my personal life and just with school and everything. And I recently have been sick, if you guys still can't tell my voice. So I'm just trying to, I'm starting to get back on track. So be sure to watch out because I'm definitely going to start uploading more videos as much as I can. So without further ado, let's get right in. So the very first thing I have been changing with my makeup routine dramatically is I have been using moisturizer and the moisturizer I, I have been using and obsessed with is the Cetaphil Oil Control Moisturizer and this is just what it looks like and I literally love this. I put it on about like 15 minutes before I do my makeup and I put it on after I get out of the shower at night and it makes my face so smooth and it makes, um, and it, makes it have a really good base and like it makes my foundation look flawless so this is what I have been using this for moisturizer for my primer I have been using my MAC prep and prime and this wasn't my last everyday makeup products video but it's because I love this one and it's a favorite I definitely recommend this one I think it works really good and this is just what it looks like so I use this every day to prime my face right after my moisturizer and it works excellent so I really love this primer the next thing I got is um is my foundation and it is the CoverGirl and Olay CC Cream Tone Rehab Foundation and I really really love how this works. This is just what it looks like and it has a purple lid and this gives you a complete flawless look. I love how it looks. I like I don't even have to apply concealer to my blemishes or my red spots. It literally is just like one layer and your face is flawless. I use a beauty blender with it so it gives it an even more flawless look. And I really like how it has a natural to it. It really um, even outs your skin color. So like you don't, I don't even have to blend it on my neck. It just blends in so easily on my face and looks so natural and effortless. And I really, really like it and I definitely recommend this. I love this foundation out of any foundation I've tried. It is a little bit more on the pricey side for being at a drugstore, but I would definitely recommend investing into this. Oh, but um, yeah, I think this works great. So this is just what my foundation looks like. <clears throat> the next thing I use in my everyday makeup is my Pro Longwear Concealer from MAC, and this is an all-time favorite. And I usually like using this to highlight under my eyes or just cover up any extra blemishes. And uh, if I want to give my face a nice highlight, this works really good. And this is just what it looks like, in case you guys didn't know. And I really, really like this concealer. So I just use this concealer in my everyday routine. Now, switching gears, I'm going to move on to what I use for my eyebrows. So the first thing I'm just going to show you guys, because it's like a bit complicated, but I use this Clinique um, concealer right here, and it's just this little blue tube. And I use this to clean up under my eyebrows, and I really like how it looks. So this is just the concealer I use to clean up under my eyebrows. And then uh, before I do my eyebrows, I use my MAC Brow Finisher, and this is just what the box looks like. And it's actually an eyebrow wax, which I really love. I'm obsessed with it. So this is just what it looks like, and it has this white little end. And it's just like brow gel, but it's brow wax, and I think it works way better than brow gel. I personally love brow wax better. And it's in the shade clear, so it doesn't have to match. And then I just twist it up, and then I just have to apply it, and I shape out my eyebrows. And it really defines it, and I like to put that on before, just so it's easier to work with my eyebrows when I'm applying product. So this is just what it looks like. And I use that to make sure my eyebrows stay held down. And it really makes such a huge difference when you use brow wax or brow gel even. But I would definitely recommend brow wax. Then I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. And I am obsessed with this. You could definitely fleek your eyebrows out so much with this. And this is just what the little pomade tinting looks like. And it's in the color chocolate. And uh, um, this is what it looks like inside. As you can see, it's a pomade. And I love how you only need to use a little bit and it spreads out so much. I like how it dries up and I think it makes such a huge difference compared to pencils or anything. I would definitely invest in pomade. It just it dries and it looks so much more 
prettier and it blends out really nice and I like how it doesn't come off like if someone like like if you rub on your eyebrow like you don't have to worry about it coming off it sticks on and I really love it and I definitely recommend investing into this so this is just what I use for my, for my eyebrows when I want to go for a more natural look at my eyebrows I like to use my pro brow palette and it's um, JJB Cosmetics, something like that. But this is just what it looks like. And when I'm trying to go for a more natural look or I'm really just in a rush and I usually don't have time to do things, this is just what it looks like inside. And it comes with multiple colors, but obviously I only use the dark brown because that's the color of my eyebrow. And it just comes with this brow gel right here, which I really, really like. So this is just what I use on the days I'm in a rush and I really don't have time because I definitely need to have some time on my hands when I use pomade. So this is just what I use when I'm in a rush. Then the last thing for my brows is my favorite. It's this Ulta Brow Duo. And I don't use the brow side because there was like all kinds of these but they only had one color. They either had light brown or blonde. So I don't really use the brow side because that's not my color. But I'm obsessed with this highlighter. As you can see it's like almost like running out on top. But I really like this highlighter, and yeah, I think it makes my eyebrows, I like to highlight right here under my eyebrows, and then right in the front, and it really makes it look very fleek and beautiful, so that's just what I use. Now for eyes, for my eyes, the first thing I use is something new. I usually never really, like, did eyeshadow because I never really had an eye primer, so my eyeshadow obviously tended to fall off, rub off, and just be a complete mess by the end of first period. But ever since I got an eye primer, I have been obsessed with doing eyeshadow, and I have been playing around with like so many palettes, and um, I'm actually looking to get one of the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palettes because I really like those dark brown colors. But anyways, this is what I use first to prime my eyes, and it's the same thing as the Urban Decay Eye Primer. I think it works just as great. It's the Ulta Eye Primer, and it's from Ulta, if you guys know that great makeup store. If not, you should definitely go there. So this is just what it looks like, and it's in the color Champagne, and I really, really like it. It comes out really lightly and small, so you're not using so much at one time. And I like how it primes your eyes. It gives it a nice champagne color and nice sparkles to it, and it makes my eyeshadow last all day, like completely all day. I have to like still get it off in the shower, so yeah. And then uh, since I've been playing around a lot with eyeshadows, I have this huge... I will show you guys, but it's like really big. It's this big suitcase full of all kinds of eyeshadows from Ulta also. So I really like that. I like to use those colors on there when I'm going for a much more dramatic look. But on a daily basis and natural look, I like to use this Maybelline New York um, eyeshadow palette. And I just got this in a gift kit. I was actually just playing around with it one day and I was just doing my crease and everything. And I really liked how it came out. So I've been using this ever since. And it's just the Expert Wear, and they're the natural smokes. So I think this looks really nice, and I like how these colors come out. So I've just been using this, and what I want to add a little more glam. I'm obsessed with this thing. I actually want to find more of it, but like I said, it came in a gift kit. So, I mean, I don't really know where to find any more, but it's the Maybelline Color Tattoo Metal Eye Studio, which is so cool. And I really like it. This is just what it looks like on the top, and it literally does last 24 hours. And then on the bottom, it just looks like that. And then the inside, it looks like kind of like the pomade, too. It's like eyeshadow pigment, sort of. And I really like how it looks. I just like to add it to the top layer, like right here on my lid, on top of, like, um, this white eyeshadow right here. And I think it looks so beautiful. I really like it. So this is just what I use on a daily basis, natural, if I'm not trying to go all glammed out. <clears throat> For my eyes, I like to use, and now we're going to go into mascara, um, I've been using the MAC Studio Sculpt, uh, Sculpt Super Black Lash, and this is just what the tube looks like, and it's really cute, and these make my eyelashes so long and beautiful, I really love this mascara, and there's no clumps in it, which I like, watch, let me show you guys, this is just what the brush looks like, and it, it literally causes no clumps in your eyelashes at all, this is like the one mascara I know when you're brushing through, it just... It's like it has a comb in it. So I really like this mascara. And this is the mascara I've been using. And it's the MAC Studio. So then uh, the next thing I like to finish up my look. If I'm not trying to go for a full out contour look. But I just want to give my face some color. I just use my Ulta Sculpting Palette. And I'm obsessed with this. Let me just tell you. 
It comes with this bronzer, this blush, and this highlighter, which I really like because it's all a three in one. And I like this bronzer because it could give me a nice, it gives me a nice like gold bronzy look. But it also like it gives me a nice contour if I want to do like under my cheekbone and I want to make it look like I made an effort to look like that. But I really, really like the bronzer in this. I definitely want to go back and get one. And then the blush is just this really pretty light pink. It's so natural. You could, I could even hardly tell I'm wearing it. So I just like to add my sculpt. I just like this sculpting palette every day. This is the best every day. Now to set off all the makeup products, everything I use. I use the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And ever since I got this setting spray, let me just tell you, my makeup literally stays in place all day. So like, if you mess up on your makeup, fix it before you set it because this helps your makeup stay all day. And this is something I definitely needed because my makeup always tended to fall off my face. And it's made such a huge difference. I'm really happy with the results. So I've really been loving the setting spray. I'm definitely gonna continue using this product. But this is just what I use and it's from Urban Decay and it's the all nighter because they had one for like oily skin or whatever. But the all nighter I felt like best suited it. So that's just what it looks like. So yeah. So these are basically all my makeup everyday makeup products. It seems like so much makeup. But it really isn't. It's just what I like to do on a daily basis. I usually just do my foundation, mascara, and eyebrows on a daily basis, but because most days I'm running late, but um, if I want to add more glam, I definitely do my eyeshadow. I definitely take more time with my highlighting, and my bronzing, and all that. But this is just an idea of all my everyday makeup products I would use if I were to get ready. Perfect A1 every day on time. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys find it in your hearts to forgive me for not uploading so much. But I definitely am going to be coming with you guys for with the next video and um, I'm definitely going to be showing you guys more get ready with me's and I just want you guys to comment down below what you guys would like to see next and what you would like to see on my channel more of and uh, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and tell me what you guys would like to see next. Bye! Thank you guys so much for watching!